a moment 12 years in the making. 40-year-old Tyrone Clay with his hands held high, walking out of the Cook County Jail a free man. Feel good after 12 years. Feel real good. Clay and Edgardo Colon were charged in connection with the 2011 murder of Chicago police officer Clifton Lewis. Lewis was killed in a robbery while off duty working his second job as a security officer at a convenience store in the Austin neighborhood. The charges against the two men were dropped Wednesday ahead of a hearing during which police and prosecutors were set to be questioned over their handling of the 2011 investigation. Cole's attorneys say this case was botched from the beginning. They rushed to judgment and they engaged in some conduct that was improper and resulted in a coerced confession of one of the co-defendants and then they built a case around a coerced confession. I forgive them but I won't ever forget what they did to me. They took all these years out of my life for nothing. Co-defendant Edgardo Colon was sentenced for 84 years in prison before his conviction was overturned in 2020. Since then, he'd been on electronic monitoring, waiting for a second trial. My condolences to Clifton Lewis family. Hopefully, they do find the real perpetrators and get closure for them also. There was a rush to charge and convict, and that's that's not that's not really honoring the legacy of a, of a dedicated police officer, which is what Clifton Lewis was. Defense attorneys had been prepared to release evidence, including cell phone tower data obtained by the FBI. Not only was there no evidence that none of them were near the crime scene, the cell tower analysis shows they were not together at all. The Cook County State's Attorney's Office explaining its decision in a statement saying, in light of previous rulings suppressing the statements of both defendants and after a thorough and exhaustive review of the remaining evidence against those defendants, independent of the outcome of today's scheduled hearing, the Cook County State's Attorney's Office does not believe it can meet its burden of proof at trial. A third man connected to this case, Alexander Villa, was convicted but not sentenced. His attorney telling ABC7 she hopes to get his case dismissed as well. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.